Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chung and welcome to your friendly proctologist. Thank you so much for joining me today. If ever at any point you ever feel down or you feel like the world has got you by the bottom end, just look at the comment section and you'll see that we're all in this together, even myself. So let that be some comfort to you. Today's question is a really great one. Um, this person I know is not the only one. I deal with this with my patients all the time. The question is, I just had a hemorrhoidectomy. Why do I feel these butt spasms all the time? And that is an excellent, excellent question. Before we get there, please take the time to thumbs up the video and also to click that red subscribe button. I truly appreciate your time. Let's reach as many people in the world as possible. We all need to get these issues to light. All right, so if you're looking for the short answer, many of you are asking for, hey doc, I don't have much time. Please tell me the answer right away. But here it is. The reason why is because once a surgeon does a surgery as traumatic and as painful as a hemorrhoid surgery, hemorrhoidectomy, your muscles clamp down they close for business they don't want to have anything to you they don't want you to poop through it. they don't want you to do anything with it so it wants to protect you and therefore shut down and the spasms are an exaggeration of that closure it's like no it's not a soft closure i mean we are nothing's getting through we are just locked down okay covid lockdown if you come out we're gonna put you in jail that kind of lockdown, extreme. So if that's all you're looking for, see you later on the next one. <laughs> for all of you that wanna learn a little bit more, here we go. So a little bit of background is that the hemorrhoid surgery is one of the toughest surgeries. If you've been through it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you read about it, you know that the personal stories people have put online, the reviews about the surgery are certainly enough to give you nightmares, right? Um, when the surgeon does the cutting and the stitching, these things are all painful. And so it does take some technique and some little bit of awareness to know what you can do, what's necessary. Because I, I do a hemorrhoidectomy that's semi minimally invasive, okay? Meaning I don't do this huge whopping cut, huge whopping stitches, okay? Because that is what hurts. So you gotta do just enough in the right places and do the appropriate job so you clear the hemorrhoids, but at the same time, try to make the recovery as easy as possible, less painful, because we're talking about another human being here, okay? I mean, I'm your doctor, I'm supposed to help you, and yes, it's not easy to recover, but gosh darn it, you know, the better, the faster you get to your normal life again, with the least amount of pain possible, that is a win, okay? So the surgery is traumatic, okay? And it is a physical thing and an emotional thing, okay? You can't go through 24 seven pain in your butt and not expect that to affect you inside and how you feel. What's your mood? I mean, I'm sure after hemorrhoid surgery, days seem a little bit darker, even though the sun is shining brightly outside, okay? It's natural, that's the way it goes. So, <clears throat> again, the muscles don't like the pain. If you've ever had a painful hemorrhoid in the past before surgery, or a painful fissure, you know what I'm talking about, that immediate reaction or reflex to just clamp down and close lock up the doors you know even do touch your bottom end it's like oh that just wants to make you freeze that's what it is but after a hemorrhoid surgery it's a whole nother level on top of that if you can imagine it okay so now we understand why right and oh the other thing too it's an unconscious thing Remember I was talking about the pelvic floor and the internal sphincter. Both these muscles are very much going to be spasmed and freaking out after the surgery. And these are the ones that are unconscious. You don't have very good direct control. And if these things are just clamping down and closing up, you're going to have to fight against these um, muscles as they 
close in and squeeze the cuts which increase your pain and also prevent you from um, having a good bowel movement because what do you got to do when you poop you have to relax which is the exact opposite and yeah try it's easier to, said than done to try and control it consciously at will okay so what can be done about it well i feel like most of that can be another video but i just want to give you some introductions to it first thing is to realize what is happening to your butthole so all the stuff i've said previously about the trauma let that sink in okay this is not just a simple like i got stitches on my butt just gotta wait for them to heal no it is something that is much on a higher and deeper level emotionally the next thing is you need pain control okay i'm really passionate about this because doctors surgeons are really bad on average about controlling pain and those spasms are mostly there mainly there when your pain is elevated and then contradictory maladaptive um, the reaction that happens is that when you have more pain, your anus squeezes harder, which then increases your pain even more. It's so not helpful. But if your pain is controlled, your anus will start to let up and relax because it feels like there isn't much to protect you from okay it's going to let up and that's the pain control that i mean when you're lying on the bathroom floor crying your eyes out you're crying in bed you're just paralyzed because of that pain that's when the spasms will start to freak you out and they will again raise that pain level so that's very important i definitely advise you to do your reviews or excuse me look at the reviews research the doctors make sure you have that thoughtful conversation somebody who's going to take care of you in that fashion super important okay because when you have your bowel movements that's when these spasms can come back in full force so of course your bowel movements need to be soft so you've got to be on a soft stool regimen whether it's stool softeners miralax what have you this is, needs to be discussed with your surgeon so that things can go much smoothly and so i hope this video was very helpful and enlightening to you it's not your fault this is something that you can't help it's because the surgery was just awful an awful thing was done to you and that's why your body is just freezing it is really just like paralyzed and freaking out and that is what those spasms are from and so i hope that you're dealing the best that you can um definitely keep in contact with your surgeon let he or she know that you're struggling and i wish you the best till the next time bye bye